we're gonna switch to English because we have uh, James Pruder uh, and he's gonna talk to you about how you can go to Costco and buy a car not only a hundred bottles of ketchup and like 300 rods of news <laughs> of toilet paper right so how are you James I'm doing really well how about you excellent thank you very much for your time we're sitting here in, a, in a, your hometown in Arizona yes in Phoenix a beautiful weather this time of the year I don't know how you survive in the summer but that's another story <laughs> Yeah, you're right. So, James, uh, we we were at the, um, another previous event for another car uh, sure. that we were testing, and you started talking to me about this uh, thing for Costco. So, can you tell me what you do for them and uh, what's that buying program at Costco? Right. Yeah, I can I consult with Costco, and what most people don't know is that you can buy a car, a new car, or a used car, but primarily a new car uh, through Costco with your Costco membership. Now, uh, if you have a Costco that's close to you, you may have noticed as you walk into a Costco uh, that uh, there may be a new vehicle sitting somewhere close to the entranceway that you pass by. Like on display, like, yeah, on like display. you see a TV and then you see a car. Yeah, exactly, okay. and and uh, what that is just as a reminder that one of the benefits of being a Costco member is that you can utilize their car buying service. Okay, and uh, so let's go step by step. I'm not a member of Costco, so how did you become a member? Well, just uh, uh, Costco is a, is a phenomenally successful organization. They have about 45 million members in the U.S. That's a lot of people uh, yeah. who... Um, Uh, uh, pay anywhere from uh, around $50 or $100 for a membership, depending upon the kind of membership that you get. And then that allows you access into a Costco, and uh, you can buy things at a, at a tremendous savings. And a lot of people buy things there in bulk. Wow. Yeah. yeah it's, it's That's bulk. like the general idea that people have about that. But like, obviously, well... If you are lucky enough to buy cars in bulk, that's another thing. <laughs> well, I always <laughs> that'll be a unique case. I always make the joke that that if uh, if you want to. Um If you want to buy cheese, then, you know, to make a sandwich, you go to Publix or something like yeah. that. If you want to carve a statue out of cheese, then you would go to Costco <laughs> and buy cheese that way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, most people do buy in bulk. But uh, they have a very, uh, one of the uh, most unique ways of buying a vehicle that you can actually uh, uh, complete the transaction is through your Costco So let's go, let's go to that through that process because it's very interesting that, uh, that, that you can do that. I mean, obviously, the unfortunately, I have to say, the dealership experience is the worst part of the auto industry for um, some people, not everybody, but it can be bad <laughs> because especially before the internet era that people didn't have any information available, you go there and you got killed. Now it's different. So can you walk through us uh, that process? Yes, it is. It, it, it can be very intimidating to a person and, and um, what a dealer is going to do five times a day, you may do once every five years. And yeah. so they're very good at it and you're, you have a very uh, disadvantage of, of going into. The very first thing, if you have an idea about what you want in a new car, and you don't even have to have an idea, uh, you go onto the Costco website And you go to their auto buying program and follow the prompts. It'll say, I know what kind of vehicle I want. Uh, we're sitting uh, today in a, you know, we drove a brand new uh, Hyundai Genesis. And let's just say you want a new Hyundai. Yeah. And you kind of know what you want. And then you just configure it online. Say, I want, I want the uh, Hyundai and I want the... Um, I want a sunroof, don't want a sunroof, I want a particular color. And once you configure the car, um, then what the website will tell you is what that car uh, lists at, the window sticker price. And then the next thing it will tell you right on the website is what the dealer paid for that car, the invoice amount. So that information you get right away. There's also a process on there that says, I don't know what I want. But I do know that I want four doors. I do know that I want good gas mileage. I do know that I want it to be a crossover. It has to be roomy style, or I yeah. want a truck or I want a mini. You know, you have a general idea. And then you put in, and I want to spend about this much money. And then it'll come back and recommend vehicles. So you don't have to know exactly what you want. But most people have a pretty good idea. They get it down to, um, well, you know, I want a key or I want a, I want a Ford Uh, you know, I'm looking at those. So you can configure more than one car. And also, I guess, budget. I mean, I want a car for like between $20 and $25, $25 and $30. 
Yes, that's correct. Then the next thing you say uh, when the prompt is, um, I want to get a price from this. So you hit the send button. Now, uh, for instance, uh, take in the uh, Phoenix area or the Miami area, it doesn't matter, but let's just take Phoenix. We may have 10 Ford dealers in this market and uh, we, we will probably have three of those 10 that are Costco um, car dealers. They're, they're approved, the Ford dealers. So we know that we're going to send that information to the nearest Ford dealer to where you live but not all Ford dealers, so only one will get it. And then within 24 hours, the dealer must call you back mm -hmm. uh, and tell you uh, what they will sell you that vehicle for. So for example, the car lists at $30,000. We know the dealer paid $26,000 for it. And then they will tell you right over the phone we will sell you that car for twenty-five thousand. Over the phone, can it be written? Because the word, the speaking word, and the <laughs> written word are different. Well, that's an excellent point. Uh, they will tell you that. Now, if you're still interested, uh, in, in by the way, the information goes to the fleet department. It does not go to the salesman on the showroom floor. Oh, okay. So you're not dealing with the person that's ready to jump on you when you walk in and try the door. to sell you more stuff that you want or need which is an excellent point so then you go to the dealer if that's the vehicle you want and the dealer must then show you they say yes we have the car you're looking for and by the way we have it in blue and we have the silver you want so you can look at those two colors and, and that's exactly what you want or we have one that's exactly what you want but it has um, maybe it's got an entertainment system or an something extra, an extra option or something yeah but but they will tell you and you don't have to buy that then the one thing they have to then do is they have to show you the window sticker they have to show you that invoice what they paid for it and then they have to show you the Costco sheet what is that the Costco sheet says we will sell you this car at this price and it doesn't matter who you are everybody looking for that Ford Fusion let's say uh, it's not on your ability to pay everybody gets that price okay so it's there's no negotiation and so I my sorry at that point you get like a written printed form or some kind of information that this is the price for the car that you get that's right and almost always almost in every instance it's well below what the dealer paid for it. The other nice thing about this is that they can't make you buy the things you don't want. For instance, the dealer will put on an, an alarm system and charge a huge amount of money yeah. for something that, or they'll take uh, uh, like a Scotch guard the seat, uh, and, and what you can do for ten dollars yourself, the dealer's going to charge you three hundred. They can't do that because it's a Costco deal. Okay. They have to sell you that car at the price that they pre-negotiated with Costco. And um, by the way, Costco sold uh, 450,000 cars this way last year. It's extremely wow. popular, and you cannot buy a car less expensive than that way. That's amazing. And um, so your membership at Costco... Uh, allows you to do that but you have to pay an extra fee for a, a process of buying a car yes you 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 uh, you have to be a Costco member only a Costco member has access to it because when you go on the website they're gonna ask you what your Costco number is and then you put the Costco member in but it's not very much money and, and, and it's a and it's a good deal but the best thing is that if at any point along the way uh, that you say I don't understand this I'm not real good with computers um, I, I'm not sure how this works. There's an 800 number that rings into a call center where there are Costco experts, their employees, that will take the phone call and help you through that process. And that's even if you go to the dealer and the dealer said, well, I have to, you have to buy the alarm. No, 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 no. And and um, here's my paper. Here's my Costco. That's exactly <laughs> Costco right. Sheet, you call it? That that the, right. The sheet from Costco, yeah. and, and and they have it for every single vehicle. So let's just say we have those three Ford dealers, and it's a Fusion. 
One of them is going to sell it to you for a thousand under invoice, one five hundred and one two hundred. When you push that send button, we're going to send you. If the price is the same to the closest to your house, but if the price is like five hundred or a thousand dollars less at a different Ford dealer, that's where we're going to send you oh, okay. to the other one. And so, so you always get the best deal. You always get the best deal unless you say no. I really, I don't want to drive an extra twenty miles. I want to go close to my. Or house. maybe they have in that particular area, that color that you wanted, and it's the only one there. Some particular case. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, and so uh, it, it is a great deal, and the other the other thing is you you they cannot sell you things that you don't want. Costco protects you all the way, and um, they have a full staff that backs you up with that program. And it includes uh, all kind of uh, brands, all kind of uh, manufacturers. You know, it it includes most, but some of the real high end luxury cars. Um, Uh, there are some markets where we may not have, for instance, we may not have an Audi, um, okay. uh, because in a market there might only be one Audi dealer, and they're saying, "I don't need to give Costco members a good price because we're the only dealer." Yeah, exactly. And we and, don't have and, to do and it. To be honest, dealerships have to make money too. I mean, it's a legitimate business. Like the the thing is that in some cases there might be some kind of abuse. But you know, that's an interesting thing, a uh, way that you brought that up, because dealers make money different today than what they did before, and yeah. that is, they used to make it on a per car, now they're getting it on selling volume, volume yeah. and that's why they like Costco, because they know 20% of all the cars they sell are coming through Costco. It's almost already they are sold before the month starts, because they know they're going to get the flow from people coming that's from exactly Costco. Right. So James, you're not in the call center for Costco? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, I, no People I, will I, love to talk to you, I think. Yeah, but, but you okay. know what? Get a hold of Costco. You're going to love the way, the way it works. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jeff Brewer, from uh, Costco uh, Auto Buying Program. Uh, very interesting, and uh, honestly, I didn't have any idea of this, so thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.